Welcome to Lifehacker, where we install the Windows 10 Preview so you don't have to. At first glance, you'll see that it looks quite similar to Windows 8, with the exception of this technical preview icon, and a few new icons down here in the taskbar. We'll get to those in a moment, but let's start with the obvious. The Start menu is back. It looks a little different this time around, as expected, but it works quite nicely. The left side is the same as before, with a more flat, colorful look, but you can press all apps to see all of your installed programs just like you could before. On the right side you'll see some of the start screen's infamous live tiles. I actually really like these, so I'm glad to see them here. Uh, just like the old start screen, you can move them around, resize them, remove them if you don't like them. You can also resize the entire start menu itself, at least vertically. To enlarge it horizontally, you can just pin new apps and it'll adjust itself automatically. The start menu also has search, just like it always did, though this time it includes web searches along with its results, so you can see those here. Uh, and if you search for a specific site, like Lifehacker, uh, it'll give you a shortcut to go straight there. By default it uses Internet Explorer, but if you install another browser, like Firefox, it'll use whatever you've set as the default. Now you'll notice some minor changes to the way windows look in Windows 10, namely they don't have the borders around the edges. You can still resize them as normal, but everything looks a little bit cleaner. You'll also notice that the file explorers icon looks a little different, and if you open it up, you'll see a few cosmetic changes inside as well. Mostly the icons for things like desktop, hard drives, and home group, things like that have a flatter look, though not all of the icons have changed just yet. If you open up an app formerly known as Metro, like the Windows Store, it'll start maximized, though you can resize it, move it around, and use it just like any other window, which is different than Windows 8. You can also snap them to the edges, and in the empty space you'll get an overview of other open windows, which is kind of cool. If you click on the Task Preview button in the taskbar, you'll get an overview of all of your open windows, much like Expose on the Mac. There are no fancy animations or anything happening, but it's possible they just haven't been put together yet. You can also add multiple desktops to keep your workspace from getting too cluttered. You'll even get a little indicator of which apps are open on another virtual desktop so you don't lose anything. Lastly, we tested out the new command prompt, only to find that the Control v shortcut we were promised did not work. However, I later found out that if you go to the command prompt's properties, you can enable experimental features, which actually includes a host of other things, not just the shortcut. So definitely poke around in there if you're a command line junkie, but at least get in there to enable that shortcut, which is really handy. Once you restart command prompt, it should work. All the new features are looking good so far, but it's not all sunshine and roses. I definitely experienced some sluggishness here and there, even on my really powerful PC. And I had a few issues with the universal apps throwing up error messages when I tried to launch them, and the windows wouldn't pop up, and the thumbnails and the taskbar didn't quite work, it was very strange. A reboot did fix the problem, but it's clear that this is definitely an experimental preview, and I do not recommend using it as your daily driver just yet. If you want to give it a spin, definitely try it out on a spare hard drive or in a virtual machine like VirtualBox. If you click the links below this video, you'll find instructions on how to do just that. Thanks for watching, and let us know if you guys find anything else cool.